Right, they are mowing the field here at the back. I guess this is going to be the last time they mow it before the winter sets in. Because if the winter sets in, the grass don't grow and all of this will lose its green. Enzo! Enzo is right there. <laughs> I don't know where's Diego. Let's see where he is. Usually he is just around here. He will probably be hiding away. Yeah, I don't see him. Let me go see where he is at the bottom because I think he's going to be a little nervous. Yeah, he is hiding. But at least we know that the field will be mowed again. And uh, when there's a fire, of course there's always one in these fields, it won't be as bad. Because if they don't mow it now, these weeds will be more than a meter tall pretty soon. And that's a little bit much. Let me go see where he is. Little bunny, <laughs> she is right here. Bunny walking right there on that edge. Cats can really get you a bit nervous when they spend time just sitting there on the edge or something but I, I'm sure they are in control they are able to do it yeah Enzo is right there calm as can be let me go find Diego Enzo where's Diego he doesn't know. It just tigers shoot their head like humans do if they don't know. I guess. The father cat, he's just walking around here. And, well, he's a cat that wasn't really living around here. But he just showed up and now he's welcome. But you can still now and then, I'm just feeling something here underneath his neck. Maybe it's a tick. I don't think so because I did treat him also the other day. But in any case, he is so tame now. Just look at this. A real tame cat. And... <laughs> <laughs> he just showed up. He was so wild a few months ago. He didn't know where to go. And now he is just living right here. And just look at Freniest cat in the world. She's just hanging out over here as well. They have just formed a nice little family right here. Grandma cat also hangs out here. But that's it. None of the other cats that I have comes to this side. But just look at him. <laughs> <laughs> he's a big cat and I think these tuxedo cats are a little bigger than what do you call them again I can't remember but in any case yeah they are much bigger than the other types tortoise shells that's what it is so <laughs> 
it's actually funny to see how she has got tortoiseshell in her as well on her feet the black on her is absolutely gorgeous and when she had the little ones she had cutest cat in the world that's where the black just look at that on her face she's perfect and that came from one of these <laughs> so they are really funny these cats yeah they're perfect Enzo just gave a yell he just yelled at me to come and feed him right now so Diego is also ready he's gonna be coming down within the next minute and I'll be feeding him I'm gonna try again to get a nice well slow motion shot at Enzo catching one of the chickens well it's the very first one that I throw at him and he only jumps for the one so I get it right or I try again tomorrow that is just how it is so they're already yawning of hunger so I better get myself down there as soon as possible and feed them I'm not sure if I should try just a normal slow motion function because that is going to record for a longer time and then I will definitely get it but it's quite tricky to get it right at that moment the dove is drinking some water right over there he's so happy that the tigers get out of the pool and then he gets to drink some water real easy right let me get going Diego is watching the dove right there he's just checking him out but the dove is okay with it he does not mind being watched by a tiger right let me get going i hope i can get that recorded i think i'm feeling lucky today i might just get a great shot the sun is not too bright there's no wind everything is perfect right let me go enough to chat these boys want to eat and not necessarily the dove let's just get Diego as he's coming down yeah, he's quite cautious when he's coming down <laughs> because he is carrying quite a bit of weight on his feet there goes Enzo let's see if the dove stays yeah, doesn't even get out of the way. Enzo! Are you hungry? Well, I don't think he's hungry, but I think he just wants to eat because it's nice. All right, let me go. Get that. We'll be feeding them now. Enzo's ready to eat. Yeah, I was on my way there and then I realized I forgot my phone. Where? In the fridge. Because... I sometimes put my phone in the fridge because then it's nice and cool if I if I need to make a video that is gonna take a few minutes Diego <laughs> but in any case I just keep it cool and then the performance is better I've noticed that I just took it off from charge and it was a bit hot and if you just place it in the fridge for let's say five minutes you can maybe save yourself a lot of trouble but in any case it's time to make a video of Enzo catching the first chicken for the day straight out of the air let's get going I'm going to change to slow motion right now okay Diego wants me to, to change to slow motion for him as well right now so I'll do it for him as well Okay, I didn't get it perfectly, but let's try again. Before he walks over to that chicken over there. Enzo! Enzo! 
Oh, I'm too late again. It's not that easy. I mean, you can press that button at any time. And if you're not going to make it, you're not going to make it. Although, I'll change it. Tomorrow I might get it. Diego wants that one. Diego. <laughs> He's not really hungry today. Look at that. That's when he gets like that. Because he does not want me to get too close to his chicken. Diego. Come on, Diego, I want to look right down your throat. Let me switch on the light first. I won't take the chicken. It's yours. Now, oh, that's not the sound that came out of Diego. Those flies are bothering him. <laughs> and Enzo is going to go take it. Diego, quickly go get one of your chickens. Okay, I'll feed him another one. Right, I've got one of the little Diegos climbing up into this psychiat. <laughs> I'm going to have to take him out because this thing is quite sharp. I'm going to have to take him by his neck. By the skin, I don't want him to jump because if he jumps, he might just get one of those thorns in his skin. And believe me, I've been trying to get one out for the last two days out of my finger. And I even saw it on one of the videos the other day. There it is. Yeah, that fly is just pointing exactly where it is. <laughs> but in any case, yeah. If you are going to handle one of these plants or trees, believe me, you're going to get a little thorn in your skin. Let me get going. Time to feed them another round of chickens. I think Enzo is ready for one. I don't think Diego is going to eat. But maybe I should just not feed them anymore right now. Because there's two left and they're walking away. So yeah, I think that's it. I'm not feeding them more because I think they are full. And I'm not going to force them to eat when they don't really want to. Yeah. And the funny thing about Diego is right after he acts like he is so vicious and hissing and growling, then when we walk away from that area, he walks right next to me, I talk to him and he is as friendly as can be. He, he acts. I think that is what it is. Diego. <laughs> I mean, look at this. I just asked him what he would like to eat tomorrow. And I asked him if he would like some fish or something maybe. And he just responded so friendly. That's right after he acted like a wild animal. <laughs> and then we all just realize Diego is just a little tiger. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, he is amazing. I think everybody saw his personality now. If you've watched quite a few of my videos or maybe five or six of my videos, you might have a good idea of Diego's personality. And it's not what people thought it was. He truly are amazing. Let me get going. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Oh, there's another bunch of amazing cats. <laughs> but they want to come out. I don't let them come out this side yet. I keep them on the other side. But all the Diego's. <laughs> I'm so glad they are. Zach, he just coughed. <laughs> but in any case, I'm so glad that they are this size already. Because it makes my life so much easier. And little bunny, she is even more amazing. I think she's the only cat ever I had that I could just leave up there. And she's fine. She comes downstairs. The door is open. She just does things perfectly. But in any case, there goes Enzo. I can see his stomach is bulging a little bit. Not Diego's because he didn't eat. But <laughs> in any case, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. Here she is. Ha, ha, ha.